there is no way uh, that water heater can vent properly. So it's going to be putting flue gases into the, the basement or utility room, wherever your water heater is at. So. Hey, Dad, so I thought we could talk today about attic fans. Um, there's a big interest in attic fans yeah. and, and what you said in our last video, your very controversial video. Oh, yeah. Yeah. On how you're not a huge fan of attic yeah. fans. Now, everybody loves to have air movement in their house, mm -hmm. um, but you don't operate one in your house and you had some pretty strong opinions. So I thought maybe today you could go into what do you do in your house to right. um, kind of simulate the, the air movement and so that you still right. feel fresh and nice, but you don't have to deal with all of the uh, allergies and, and things like that. Well, what I do is uh, I have in my home, a, a, a comfort system that has some really unique features to it. And one of them is what we call a variable drive blower in the furnace. You know, we've talked about how an air conditioner works in the past, things like that. This is the fan that's in your furnace that circulates air both summertime and wintertime. And uh, it's, a, it's a unique uh, uh, part of this furnace is one, it's extremely efficient. It uses very little electricity. I mean, we're talking a single 60 watt light bulb runs this blower, you know, and so I am constantly circulating air inside my home. So there, I always have this real slight air movement. So I get this really nice uh, uh, feel to the room. You know, it doesn't feel uh, stuffy or anything like that. And then I treat it. You know, I've got a high efficiency air cleaner. Uh, we call it a micro power guard electronic air cleaner takes out all the particles in the air. So these allergens and dusts and things like that. And, and then I also sanitize the air with ultraviolet light. So I freshen the air as well. And uh, so I am constantly circulating this nice, clean, fresh air, even though I don't have my windows open. My air is fresher inside my house than it is outside my house. And so I've gotten used to that now. So with the variable drive, it's it's running the blower, right? But you're not heating or cooling. You're just circulating right. the air using the blower from the from the furnace in the right. In the basement, so if folks, if folks would go to their thermostat, what we how how we do that is if you go to your thermostat, you're going to see you've got one switch that is your system switch, and it says you know. Uh, heat cool off or something to that effect. You know, that's how you switch between heating and air conditioning. There's another button there, a little switch that typically says something like auto and on. Well, that's for your blower. So in the auto mode, your your blower is going to automatically come on with your furnace or air conditioner, whatever it's calling for. But if you put it in the on mode, the blower's going to run all the time. It's not going to turn off. So it's going to circulate air all the time, and uh, then it will cycle the furnace or the air conditioner just to maintain the temperature. But that blower is going to run all the time. So, you know, I challenge folks, uh, you know, try that. And just just try turning your blower on. Uh, you know, if you're if you're in a multi-story home or a multi-level home, you know, where warm air tends to go to the upper levels, and you know, this time of year, uh, you're going to notice any incredible improvement in the in the temperature uh, spread you know, throughout the house when you run that blower and you just keep the air moving you know constantly circulating through the house the immediately in my mind I'm thinking well I don't want to have my my blower on all day that's going to cost a lot of money but you said right. it's basically the equivalent of having a your lamp on yeah all like day at, at yeah. my with this high efficiency blower, uh, mm -hmm. you know, a regular blower, you know, I still would give that same advice, you know, in mm -hmm. the, uh, in the really, uh, we'll call it heavy times of the year, you know, when it's really warm, things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, it does cost you, you know, to run your blower, but, uh, it also it dramatically improves the comfort in the home. So it's it's well worth mm -hmm. it. You also spoke about that I had never thought of before. I thought it was a really interesting point um, that when you're running an attic fan, it's not just bringing in the outside air. You're also creating a negative pressure on your house that right. um, could could be bad for especially yeah. if you're running gas appliances. I had never right. even heard that before. Could you explain right. that a little bit more? 
Well, yeah. So, uh, so here we think of your house as a vessel. You know, it, we've got all the windows closed up, and and uh, and now we're going to turn a fan on, and and uh, this attic fan is simply drawing air out of the house, and and uh, blowing it into the attic. It gets ventilated to the outside, but but it's drawing the air out of the house. Well, that that draw has to be relieved somewhere. And so that's why the attic fan works. When you crack your window open, oh my gosh, look at all the air being sucked into the house. Well, when we don't have those windows or doors open, uh, it still has to come from somewhere. So we have openings in all throughout the house, things like your dryer vent. You know, there is a four inch pipe. It's just an open pipe that goes from your appliance to the outside wall. And when we run the attic fan, air is going to be drawn backwards through that pipe. So air from the outside is going to be pulled to the inside. Another example of that is the flue on your, your gas-fired appliances. That is a four to six inch pipe that literally goes from your basement wide open all the way to the roof outside. Well, if there's a negative pressure in the house, it's going to draw air down that flue pipe and not allow your furnace, your, 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 you really won't be using your furnace, but your water heater will not be able to overcome that. So if your water heater fires while your attic fan is on, uh, there is no way uh, that water heater can vent properly. So it's going to be putting flue gases into the, the basement or utility room, wherever your water heater is at. So really not a good thing. So that room really needs to be sealed up and uh, so as far as attic fan safety goes, if somebody is using their attic fan and you're never going to stop them from using their attic mm -hmm. fan, they right. should make sure that maybe the room to any kind of gas-fired appliance is closed off and make sure all those windows and are open. Sealed. And, <laughs> and sealed. And sealed. Yeah. I, you know, so, you know, you got the, the little crack under the door. You know, you will be amazed how much air is going to be drawn through that. Right. You know, the, the other thing is just all the incidental cracks and crevices holes all around the house you know the mm -hmm. fan, you know the little uh the seal plate uh at the base of your walls uh just and there might not necessarily up. be there might not be screens on those cracks areas as well yeah, so absolutely cracks yeah. under doors all that you know yeah. we are drawing air from the outside it's it's coming in somehow it's got to get there so yeah, yeah. i used to love attic fans but i think you've convinced me dad that uh, yeah maybe i'll go with the the variable variable drive motor not variable Vari speed var variable, variable drive, drive. Variable drive, variable, variable drive. drive, which means that it operates at a, a lower speed and a higher speed depending right. on the need. Yeah. So uh, when we just run the blower continuously, it throttles down to about half speed. And so mm -hmm. it's just this. So it's not like we're seeing our curtains blowing or uh, feeling a draft. It is just a very gentle circulation of air throughout the house. Mm -hmm. automatically ramps up when it needs to, you know, when the air conditioner needs to move more air or the furnace needs to move more air. So it just kind of throttles up and throttles down. But yeah, my blower's on 24-7 every day of the year. You know, and I actually have heard from customers who have the same sort of system that you have, and they, they've given the feedback of that, um, you know how usually if you don't have the variable drive, um, the house will feel just a little bit more either colder or hotter and yeah. then you hear everything turn on and yeah. then all of a sudden you know you're getting the hotter cold air that you need and it's very noticeable yeah. that oh now good it, it kicked on and you're always yeah. kind of aware that something is on that something just came on or it just turned yeah. off and then yeah. you you feel it cool down or heat up again but with the variable drive it's just kind of like a every it just always feels kind of nice and you never hear like a big kick right. on in yeah. your house I always kind of relate it to a lot of people can uh, uh, relate to, you know, it's, uh, let's say you've got uh, a, a, a dinner and you've got uh, six, eight people around the dinner table, you know, it's, and so the, the dining room's a little warm, you know, got a lot of people in there. It's July, you know, that kind of thing. And, and subconsciously you can be sitting there going, you know, I could, it kind of feels like the room's getting a little warm, it kind of feels like it's getting a little warm. And, you know, within a couple of minutes, you'll hear, the blower come on, you know, mm -hmm. so subconsciously you're kind of aware that, you know, 
I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little bit of a spike in temperature here, you know, and then as it's running, you're kind of realizing, you're kind of thinking to yourself, it's feeling a little cool. Are, are, is everybody comfortable in here? It's kind of starting to feel a little cool. And, you know, before you turn up in a couple of minutes, uh, the thing turns off, you know. Yeah. And, uh, you, you just are feeling that slight variance in temperature mm-hmm. that when you run your air conditioner like I do, you know, you really are not aware of it. You know, you really aren't aware of it at all. So, right. Yeah. yeah. It's funny that the things that customers have said, they're like, I guess it's it's working. I mean, it always it's mm-hmm. always the right temperature in here, yeah. but I never hear it come on or off. So yeah, I guess everything's that, fine. <laughs> that's the big thing about the, the variable drive is they are very quiet, you know, so they, yeah. uh, uh, you know, people really aren't even aware of them that much that, that it's working. The other thing, the, the other common question, though, when people hear me explain this, they go, but gosh, aren't you going to wear that thing out? That thing's running 24 right. seven. you know, well, the really cool thing about this blower is it has industrial ball bearings in it. I mean, it, it, it a much better bearing than what a traditional furnace blower does. <laughs> Plus, it being extremely efficient means it really doesn't use very much electricity, so it doesn't generate heat. So that motor is very cool. You know, unlike mm. the, a traditional motor where it gets, I mean, it can be hot to touch. And uh, the variable drive doesn't do that. So it's got an industrial bearing in it, and it really doesn't get hot. So, no, it um, it just kind of coasts along all year long. Can somebody replace just the blower to put in a variable drive into their existing system, like if yeah. they wanted to have this? Or do they have to get a whole new furnace? Well, the vast majority of our new installations, we, we, we are such a believer in variable drive, just almost everybody gets a variable drive blower with their new yeah. furnace. The, uh, but yes, you can retrofit uh, furnaces now, you know, with, with similar technology, not exactly the same, but, uh, but all the, the advantages of it, you know, having, being able to have that super slow continuous blower, uh, being able to have the super high efficiency, you know, so it doesn't use much electricity. So yes, we can do that. And, but this yeah. is a good alternative to have, Fresh air circulating yeah. throughout the house, and it feels really nice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So allergens is one thing, but just keeping the humidity down and all that too, it just feels so much fresher. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, thanks, Dad. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. <laughs>